there's nothing like spending a nice day at the San Jose Tech Museum. Now, I came here a while back and you guys had a Star Trek exhibit, but you guys are always expanding and coming up with new ideas. How do you guys come up with what you're going to be showing off here at the Tech Museum? We just look at all the things that are really hot in the world of science and technology, and we look at the things that really spark innovation and the things that we care about here. Based on all of that, we sometimes partner with different Silicon Valley organizations or amazing people like the Mythbusters who have developed this brand new exhibit that will be traveling here this fall. You guys also have an exhibit here now for the Maker Fair. Can you tell us about that? Yes. So celebrating maker culture, we went to this past Bay Area Maker Fair and chose 20 different projects, innovations that makers created and brought to the fair. And now our guests can come and experience these hands-on exhibits. And really, it's all for the love of making. These are new technologies. They turned their passions into playful projects and something tangible and, and fun that you can really get your hands on to. So now what's the coolest part for you about being the curator at something like the San Jose Tech Museum? The cool part is you get to learn about all kinds of technology, whether it's your health, it's energy, it's play, it's work, digital technologies, biotech, all kinds of things all the time. You have the Mythbusters thing coming up in the future, you got some Maker Faire stuff here now, but it's not just about those exhibits, you guys also have a giant Silicon Valley invention gallery. Can you tell us about some of the other galleries you guys have here? So there's a health and biotech gallery, which is all about how technology is changing your health. There's an energy gallery that's about renewable energy or how technology will change the way that we get energy from the planet. And then also there is an exploration gallery that talks about how technology transforms the way we travel, the way we explore the world, and other planets as well. And there's a gallery that's a bit more playful, which is about innovation at play, sort of how games play into technology, how technology is changing the way we interact with each other in a playful way. So having so many different galleries and exhibits to work with, how do you guys figure out exactly what you need to make an exhibit perfect? So first, it's really got to be interactive, and it's got to be hands-on. It should be social, if possible. Lots of people can play it together. It should be embodied, so your whole body, or at least parts of your body, are involved in the process. It should also be a little playful, so that you want to have fun while you're doing it. Because who doesn't want to have fun? That's why I'm here. That's why you're watching. We all just want to have fun.